Do your homework upfront and make sure you thoroughly understand the key cost drivers when evaluating competitive bids. Most of our clients, when they go out to bid, it's usually in a three to five year time frame, somewhere in that range. And, uh, you know, I guess my recommendation would, would be do your homework first. And, uh, you know, we can certainly help clients prepare, prepare for a bid. Uh, if you do your homework first, then when you do a comparison of fleet companies in terms of capabilities and cost and things like that, you really understand what you're looking for. Uh, so within a client's organization, they should really be making sure that when they do the comparison, they're doing an apples to apples comparison, that they understand all the numbers, uh, and they, they understand all the key cost drivers within their fleet. They understand the hidden costs if there's, if, if there's such a thing, you know, in any kind of an RFP process. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think the, uh, by and large, I think what, a, what the, probably the best thing that a client could do would be to make sure they're well educated on a fleet. I think oftentimes what you get in, a, in an RFP process is if it's part of a procurement organization, some procurement organizations are very well versed in fleet. Others are used to, you know, they're used to going through procurement issues with paper products and things like that, and they want to commoditize fleets similar to those, and that's very, very difficult to do. Uh, so I, I guess the, the one recommendation I would, I would make is to do your homework up front and it becomes a much smoother RFP process for the client. We're in the relationship business and we partner with the fleet managers each and every day. Uh, and our job is to help the fleet manager be successful in their job. It's to help them sell their value to within, the, within their own organization rather than go above them. We want to help that fleet manager uh, be successful. The way we do that is to make sure we provide them accurate information, the point at which they need to know it. Oftentimes, I know fleet managers are pulled in and asked for reporting from multiple sources within their, within their company, whether it be the, uh, the, uh, the, the risk part of the business, whether it be the chief financial officer, uh, whoever it might be. They all want information about the fleet because it's typically the second or third largest cost within an organization. So we really try to position ourselves to help a fleet manager be successful. That's why we can help them through an RFP process if they need help with that. Uh, and we can certainly help them communicate kind of the value that the fleet provides to the, to the client's organization.